Fuel metering systems, 98 questions. What factor is not used in the operation of an aircraft gas turbine engine fuel control unit? Mixture control position. In order to stabilize cams, springs, and linkages within the fuel control, manufacturers generally recommend that all final turbine engine trim adjustments be made in the increased direction. When trimming a turbine engine, the fuel control is adjusted to set idle RPM and maximum speed or EPR. An electronic engine control is a system that receives engine operating information and adjusts a standard hydromechanical fuel control unit to obtain the most effective engine operation. A full authority electronic engine control is a system that receives all the necessary data for engine operation and develops the commands to various actuators to control engine parameters. In a supervisory EEC system, any fault in the EEC that advisory affects engine operation causes an immediate reversion to control by a hydromechanical fuel control unit. The active clearance control portion of an EEC system aids turbine engine efficiency by ensuring turbine blade to an engine case clearances are kept to a minimum by controlling case temperatures. What should be checked changed to ensure the va validity of a turbine engine performance check if an alternate fuel is to be used? Fuel specific gravity setting. Prior to performing engine trimming, you should obtain a true temperature reading comparable to that of the air that enters the engine. An aircraft should be facing into the wind when trimming an engine. However, if the velocity of the wind blowing into the intake is excessive, it is likely to cause a false high compression and turbine discharge pressure and a subsequent low trim. Generally, the practice when trimming an engine is to turn all accessory bleed air off. Which of the following best describes the function of an automatic mixture control? It compensates for change in the air density due to temperature and altitude. On a float type carburetor, the purpose of the economizer valve is to provide a richer mixture and cooling at maximum power output. The fuel metering force of a conventional float type carburetor in its normal operating range is the difference between the pressure acting on the discharge nozzle located within the venturi and the pressure acting on the fuel in the float chamber. If the main air bleed of a float type carburetor becomes clogged, the engine will run rich at rated power. Which method is commonly used to adjust the level of a float in a float type carburetor? Add or remove shims under the needle valve seat. What is a possible cause of an engine run running rich at full throttle if it is equipped with a float type carburetor? Clogged main air bleed. One of the things a metering orifice in a main air bleed helps to accomplish at a given altitude in a carburetor is better fuel vaporization and control of fuel discharge, especially at lower engine speeds. A punctured float in a float type carburetor will cause the fuel level to rise and enrich the mixture. The back suction mixture control system operates by varying the pressure acting on the fuel in the float chamber. If an aircraft engine is equipped with a carburetor that is not compensated for altitude and temperature variations, the fuel-air mixture will become richer as either the altitude or temperature increases. Float-type carburetors, which are equipped with economizers, are normally set for their leanest practical mixture delivery at cruising speeds and enriched by means of the economizer system at higher power settings. If a float-type carburetor becomes flooded, the condition is most likely caused by a leaking needle valve and seat assembly. If an engine is equipped with a float type carburetor and the engine runs excessively rich at full throttle, a possible cause of the trouble is a clogged main air bleed. What occurs when back suction type mixture control is placed in idle cutoff? The float chamber will be vented to a negative pressure area. Which of the following best describes the function of an altitude mixture control? Regulates the richness of the fuel air charge entering the engine. Select the correct statement concerning the idle system of a conventional flow type carburetor. 
The low pressure between the edges of the throttle valve and the throttle body pulls the fuel from the idle passage. On an engine equipped with a pressure type carburetor fuel supply in the idling range is ensured by the inclusion in the carburetor of a spring in the unmetered fuel chamber to supplement the action of normal metering forces. The economizer system of a float type carburetor performs which of the following functions? It supplies and regulates the additional fuel required for all engine speeds above cruising. How will the mixture of an engine be affected if the bellows of the automatic mixture control in a pressure carburetor ruptures while the engine is operating at altitude? It will become richer. The fuel level within the float chamber of a properly adjusted float type carburetor will be slightly lower than the discharge nozzle outlet. The metered fuel chamber C in an injection type carburetor is held constant throughout the entire engine operating range. Select the statement which is correct relating to a fuel tank fuel level check of a float type carburetor. Do not measure the level at the edge of the float chamber. What carburetor component measures the amount of air delivered to the engine? Venturi. If fuel is found running from the carburetor with the engine not running, the likely cause is that the float needle valve is not seated properly. Fuel is discharged for idling speeds on a float type carburetor from the idle discharge nozzle. When air passes through the venturi of a carburetor, what three changes occur? Velocity increases, temperature decreases, and pressure decreases. Where is the throttle valve located on the float type carburetor after the main discharge nozzle and venturi? An aircraft carburetor is equipped with a mixture control in order to prevent the mixture from becoming too rich at high altitudes. Which of the following is not a function of the carburetor venturi? Regulates the idle system. Idle cutoff is accomplished on a carburetor equipped with a back suction mixture control by introducing low pressure intake manifold air into the float carb, into the float chamber. One purpose of an air bleed in a float type carburetor is to decrease the fuel density and destroy surface tension. To determine the float level in a float type carburetor, a measurement is usually made from the top of the fuel in the float chamber to the parting surface of the carburetor. The throttle valve of a float type aircraft carburetors is located between the venturi and the engine. Why must a float type carburetor supply a rich mixture during idle? Because at idling speeds, the engine may not have enough airflow around the cylinders to provide proper cooling. What component is used to ensure fuel delivery during periods of rapid engine acceleration? Acceleration pump. The device that controls the ratio of the fuel air mixture to the cylinders is called a mixture control. The device that controls the volume of the fuel air mixture to the cylinders is called a throttle valve. Which statement is correct regarding a continuous flow fuel injection system used on many reciprocating engines? Fuel is injected at each cylinder intake port. During the operation of an aircraft engine, the pressure drop in the carburetor venturi depends primarily upon the air velocity. Which of the following causes a single diaphragm accelerator pump to discharge fuel? An increase in manifold pressure that occurs when the throttle valve is open. At what engine speed does the main metering jet actually function as a metering jet in a flow type carburetor? All RPMs above idle range. An aircraft engine continuous cylinder fuel injection system normally discharges fuel during which stroke? All continuously. What is the purpose of the carburetor accelerating system? Temporarily, temporarily enrich the mixture when the throttle is suddenly open. When troubleshooting an engine that will not idle, what would be a probable cause? Economizer valve not operating correctly. What is the relationship between the accelerating pump and the enrichment valve in a pressure injection carburetor? No relationship since they operate independently. What is the relationship between the pressure existing within the throat of a venturi and the velocity of the air passing through the venturi? The pressure is inversely proportional to the velocity. Which of the following is least likely to occur during operation of an engine equipped with a direct cylinder fuel injection system? Backfiring. What carburetor component limits the maximum airflow into the engine at full throttle? 
Venturi. On a carburetor without an automatic mixture control, as you ascend to altitude, the mixture will be enriched. During engine operation, if carburetor heat is applied, it will decrease the air density to the carburetor. The desired engine idle speed and mixture setting is adjusted with, with engine warmed up and operating. A nine-cylinder radial engine using a multiple point priming system with a central spider will prime each cylinders one, two, three, eight, and nine. What is the function of an idling air bleed in the float type carburetor? It aids in emulsifying, vaporizing the fuel at idle speeds. If the volume of air passing through a carburetor venturi is reduced, the pressure at the venturi throat will increase. Refer to figure six, which curve most nearly represents an aircraft engine's fuel air ratio throughout its operating range. Two. What will occur if the vapor vent float in a pressure carburetor loses its buoyancy? The amount of fuel returning to the fuel tank from the carburetor will be increased. What method is ordinarily used to make idle speed adjustments on a float type carburetor? An adjustable throttle stop or linkage. For what primary purpose is a turbine engine fuel control unit, tra unit trimmed to obtain maximum thrust output when desired? Which type of control unit Control is used on most of today's turbine engines, hydromechanical or electronic. Under which of the following conditions will the trimming of a turbine engine be most accurate? No wind and low, low moisture. 1. Mixture used at a rated power in an air-cooled reciprocating engine is richer than the mixture used through the normal cruising range. The mix 2. The mixture used at idle in air-cooled reciprocating engines is richer than the mixture used at rated power. Regarding the above statements, both one and two are true. Under which of the following conditions would an engine run lean even though there is a normal amount of fuel present? In incomplete fuel vaporization. During idle mixture adjustments, which of the following is normally observed to determine when the correct mixture has been achieved? Changes in RPM or manifold pressure. An indication that the optimum idle mixture has been obtained occurs when the mixture control is moved to idle cutoff and manifold pressure. Decreases and RPM increases momentarily before the engine ceases to fire. The use of less than normal throttle opening during starting will cause a rich mixture. When checking the idle mixture on a carburetor, the engine should be idling normally, then pull the mixture control toward the idle cutoff position. A correct idling mixture will be indicated by an increase of 10 to 50 RPM before decreasing. When a new carburetor is installed on an engine and the engine is warmed up to normal temperatures, adjust the idle mixture, then the idle speed. The purpose of the back suction mixture control in a float type carburetor is to adjust the mixture by regulating the pressure on the fuel in the float chamber. Reciprocating engine power will be decreased at all altitudes if the humidity is increased. If the idling jet becomes clogged in a float type carburetor, the engine will not idle. An aircraft engine equipped with a pressure type carburetor is started with the primer while the mixture control is positioned at idle cutoff. One of the best ways to increase engine power and control detonation and pre-ignition is to use water injection. An excessively lean fuel air mixture may cause an increase in cylinder head temperature. The density of air is very important when mixing fuel and air to obtain a correct fuel to air ratio. Which of the following weighs the most? 100 parts of dry air. A mixture ratio of 11 to 1 normally refers to 1 part fuel to 11 parts air. The economizer system in a float type carburetor increases the fuel air ratio at high power settings. A carburetor is prevented from leaning out during quick acceleration by the accelerating system. In turbine engines that utilize a pressurization and dump valve, the dump portion of the valve drains the engine manifold lines to prevent fuel boiling and subsequent deposits in the lines as a result of a residual engine heat at engine shutdown. What effect does high atmospheric humidity have on the operation of a jet engine? Has little or no effect. What are the positions of the pressurization valve and the dump valve in the jet engine fuel system 
when the engine is shut down. Pressurization valve closed, dump valve open. What should cause a lean mixture in a high cylinder head temperature at sea level or low altitudes? Automatic mixture control stuck in the extended position. Which of the following is not an input parameter for a turbine engine fuel control unit? Ambient humidity. Detonation occurs when the fuel air mixture burns too fast. What corrective action should be taken when a carburetor is found to be leaking fuel from the discharge nozzle? Replace the needle valve and seat. A major difference between the Teledyne Continental and the RSA con Continuous Flow Fuel Injection System in fuel metering is that the Continental system uses fuel pressure, fuel pressure only as a metering force. The function of the altitude of altitude co compensating or aneroid valve used with the Teledyne Continental Fuel Injection System on many turbocharged engines is to prevent an overly rich mixture during sudden acceleration. The primary purpose of the air bleed openings used with continuous flow fuel injector nozzle is to aid in proper fuel vaporization.